So then that leads nicely into one of the two questions I ask all of our guests. Um, and I'm going to ask you to get your salt box out a little bit, Jim, because I want to know what's one marketing strategy that you consider maybe outdated or maybe never worked in the first place that you just, you, if you could wear the magic wand, what would business owners just stop doing tomorrow? Yeah. Well, that's, that, that's really great because honestly, I believe that every marketing tactic or strategy is, it works. So I don't believe that there's anything out there that people are doing that doesn't work. I think there are things that people are doing that doesn't work for them because they haven't achieved mastery or they're not working with people who are masters in that particular tactic or strategy. However, I do think that I do sometimes meet people who are doing a lot of cold calling. And I think that is something that is very difficult. It's very difficult to 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 rely on that, let's just say. Um, 15 years ago, before people had mobile phones that they kept on mute all the time, uh, then people would see a strange or random number and they'd pick up. But on the whole, these days, unfortunately, everybody has got wise to it. Yeah. And I'm not saying that uh, that cold calling doesn't work, but it, it would be unwise, I think, to rely on it exclusively. I, th I think that's Because consumers, they, they get wise, don't they? Just like, you know, door-to-door -door sales. Well, I think um, the more senior you know, audience, the, the, the less likely they are to pick up as well. I mean, I've got a very good friend of mine who... I would, I would see as a master of his trade, right? Like, and he spent years learning how to call, call. He's, he's learns all the time. He's always researching. He's always, and he's in the thick of it. And he's always call, call, and he loves it. And he's very, very good at it. But the, the out, so outcome of that is to your point, exactly. I see a lot of smaller businesses trying to do this themselves internally. And the truth of the matter is with it, as with a lot of marketing strategies, right? You need to have somebody who knows what they're doing to put an effective plan in place. And with cold calling more than anything else, you probably need an expensive resource to make those cold calls for you, which most small businesses can't afford. So they outsource it to yeah. somewhere cheaper who does a really bad job and ruins your brand reputation in the marketplace. So yes, I, I wholeheartedly agree with that one. Done badly. So it's such an important point because I think um, obviously a lot of people are aware now that there are really marketing is is very much a global business. There are people all over the world who are working working on uh, businesses, say here in the UK or in the US or whatever, um, and that's great because it means that your budget can go a lot further and you can access uh, you know expertise from parts of the world where. The cost of living is a lot cheaper. You can support families really in, in those parts of the world, which is actually really nice. I love the fact that, that I'm doing that personally. But when it comes to something that is really, really critical, uh, you know, wanting to get a return on investment, uh, you will always get better results if you work with people who are experts in that area. And otherwise, it is so easy just to try and cut corners and then you'll just end up with something that doesn't work, loses your money, you don't get an ROI, you end up very disappointed and feeling as though, okay, it just doesn't work. Yeah. And that is the reason it doesn't work as we both of us have agreed is because you're just not working with people who are skilled enough you know, because every right, yeah. single thing that you do, even you know, cold calling door-to-door -door sales or any tactic works, otherwise uh, people wouldn't, wouldn't do it. Amazing. And then to flip that on its head, like what's one tactic or strategy that you wish businesses would look to adopt more often? Like what do you see, what do you think is underrated in the marketplace that few businesses are trying that they could really gravitate themselves towards? 